Welcome, viewers, to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, January 15th, 2015, and we have an awesome triple session day, starting off with the wonderful Artifacts Pro. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'd like to start out just asking a little bit, Jordan, I know that a lot of the uh, music is your thing, you know, that you're the writer or the main... The... All okay, all, oh, sweet. Um, I'd like to know a little bit about, like, it, when you're writing guitar stuff, though, are you using um, Guitar Pro or like sheet music, things like that? Um, I have two rigs. One is uh, the iPhone. Okay, sure. <laughs> and, uh, the iPhone? It's um, a voice secret. memo. It's a, I think you can download the app yep. for voice memo. Yes. Um, and then I have like a, a pre pro rig uh, at another place that has Pro Tools on it, and then just lay down scratch tracks to. You know, a tempo, a metronome, whatever, sure. whatever vibes going on. Send it to somebody. Whoever wants to take a stab at it first yeah. gets it. You know, it's a. Uh, I don't have cool enough guitar parts to, not be aided or supplemented sure. by another cool guitar part. Sure. So um, usually try to get it in the hands of somebody else as quickly as possible before I ruin it. Sure. All of our phones' voice memo thing have like full of ideas, little random yeah. like eighteen second clips. Do you title those or do you just leave them? Uh, yeah, at, voice you know, memo eighteen. Yeah, voice 18, memo 19. exactly. Just how do you keep track of them? You just pull <laughs> you, them out you whenever you can. Our working titles get out of hand anyway, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to do that as late as possible. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Jeremiah, you went on an Alaska trip, is that correct? I did. I saw, could you explain that a little bit to me, or for people that don't know? I read the Facebook <laughs> post, but I'm just really curious uh, just how you got hooked up with it, or, or it's, you know why. I'm about to break a lot. It's all a lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my family it. lives up there, so I was up there visiting. But, uh, yeah, they turned it into something way cooler than what it was, so... The Alaskan so that's it. King, King <laughs> yep, salmon. Yep. No, uh, no African king crabs, no red, <laughs> like red-tailed sea lions or anything. Like that. <laughs> I thought the I'm I'm like a pretty big animals guy. So right as I read those, I was like, I don't think those are real. But I'll take a second to research that. Just a take our bit. word for it. <laughs> yeah, just believe him. <laughs> he did a uh, an Alaskan trip and he gave his time to save animals. So everyone, pay attention. Uh, your family lives up there, though. <laughs> Yes, they do. They moved up there about a year and a half okay. ago. So. Okay, awesome. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, thanks again, you guys, seriously, for coming out. Why don't you go into your next one when sure. you're ready?
Audio Tree Live with Artifacts Pareo. So I saw you guys play at that Columbus Festival, the Fashion Meets Music Festival, that little one. And um, you did really, really well. So thanks thank for you. that. But um, I'm curious. And then you just wrapped up a tour with Emery and Norma Jean? Or just, no. The, it, the it, first it leg was Emery and Norma Jean. The second leg was... Uh, Emery. In, the classic, in the, the classic crime, crime. okay, yeah, 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 yeah the West Coast side. Um, I'm just curious, when, when you're touring with other bands, is it hard to, um, like, not be influenced by their music, or is it easy enough to just walk up and play, like, what is Artifacts Spreo's music? Does that make any sense? I mean, is that... We, we definitely tailor our set a little bit to whatever bands we're playing with. I mean, I feel like us as a group have a pretty diverse range of yeah, styles. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we can either go and play shows with Norma Jean or <laughs> go play shows with from Indian Lakes or something like that. Sure. You know I mean? uh, we try not to let it get too too much, you know, yeah. but we definitely uh, definitely tailor it a little bit. Yeah. Do you find yourself specifically, like, I don't know, screaming in parts that maybe it's not on the record when you're touring with Norma Jean sure. or then pulling back with from Indian Lakes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, I would also like to know a little bit about um, your, like, sort of vocal journey. Did you train at all when you were young? I mean, you have such, like, an amazing range and texture stuff. I, I've, I've been singing since I could. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, slight vocal training as far as, you know, high school choir and that kind of stuff. Sure. But, uh, other than that. Never, you know, like, a vocal coach, though, or anything not, like that? Not really. You know, I've, I've done, like, maybe one or two random sessions when... Uh, <clears throat> When I first joined these guys, when I was still living in Portland, Oregon, uh, it was definitely, uh, oh my God, I haven't sung for three years, yeah. really, you know, trying to do it, and had a couple sessions, but it didn't really give me what I was sure. looking for. Um, there's, there's no substitute for just doing it. Yeah, <laughs> for, for just touring for and just playing show after and, show. And, and yeah, doing it as much as you possibly can. Yeah, yeah. for sure. All right, uh, you guys can go on your next song when you're ready. She tells you 
Artifacts Braille on Audio Tree Live. Um, so African king crabs aside, I would like to know if you had a talk show and each of you had like a little bit, um, what do you think you would want to inform people about or what do you think you would like to BS about at the very least? Sticker collections. Do you have a sticker collection? No, but I've always okay. wanted one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I remember when stamps were a pretty, there was like, stamps were a pretty big deal when I was in second grade in my high school. So not quite stickers, but a ton of kids. See, and I'd stamps. want the stickers, like not used stickers, like all with the protective backing oh, on yeah, there, just dude. like to go through them. Band I, stickers I or any what? kind? Not, maybe not band stickers. Okay. Like yeah. random little, just, you know, other business. Welcome to Colorado. Like ice cream, or like, you know. Yeah. Ice yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cream truck stickers. <laughs> Others? Jordan? Jeremiah? <laughs> I like talking about records, but... That's oh, yeah. Is. Okay. <laughs> Are you, like, a vinyl guy? I am a vinyl guy. Okay. Do you have a large collection, or do you I, have a collection? I do. I'd say it's about medium size. I okay, yeah. I so far to say large yet. Yeah, well, I don't really know what large even means. I don't, so you have to have a rack, I guess, to put them all in, maybe? I have or? no idea. I've got one of those Ikea bookcases that's about yeah. three quarters full, so... Okay, cool. I don't well, really geez. know how many that is. I would say that's a lot. How many do you buy per month? More than I probably should. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Jeremiah will spend food money on tour on records, just if there's the one. Yeah. The, if it's the one. It's been known to happen. Dang. For many years, have you been a record collector? Um, not for terribly long. Maybe okay. four years. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. He goes hard, though. <laughs> yeah, well, clearly, I guess. Four years, that's, like, pretty large. I haven't gotten in it yet. I just have too much stuff already that's sort of my thing. But I love them, and we love them at the studio. Like, we have a collection in the studio that we... Uh, you know, take when bands give them to us when they come in and stuff. Right. Others? Anyone else? Have passions? <laughs> Eugene that's likes knives. I was my <laughs> oh, that's totally fine. I wasn't being present. Um, I, I think it would be cool to talk about traveling as far as, like, sharing personal experiences and, mm. like, places that are maybe a little more unheard of. I don't really have an example sure. off the top of my head. I'd How give you a Travel out? Channel show. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not even that. I'm not even that experienced of a traveler, but sure. I would like to be. Yeah. And I feel like going and uh, recognizing everyone else's plights in the world would be cool to talk about. Yeah. And maybe share with each. And other. even just learning like how to travel. I don't want to say correctly, but you know, anyone just walking into South America or whatever with no experience probably can't get the best out of. Argentina that they want or, you know, whatever. Yeah, places successfully, to go. Successfully, not correctly. Yeah, successfully. successfully. That would be the right way, yeah, to say it for sure. And safety first, of course. Yeah, oh, always. <laughs> That's what uh, Anthony Bourdain sort of does, I guess. He's got, but food, food related. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, be fun. sweet. All right, uh, you guys can take it away. The last one, is that right? It's fifth? Okay, cool, mm -hmm. do it.
But some way was rather brisk More so than the previous And now She's found home In climate she's never been The icicles that nailed my coffin Never been Melted long before I noticed I was free to watch the plants bud from the dead. Oh, the parts of life we miss when we're self-condemned. Tree Live with Artifacts Pareo. I'm curious who designed the leaf. Like a buddy of yours or one of you guys? Did you? His name is Johnny Ashcroft. Okay, cool. He did all, the, all of our album art for Time and Place. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. It's awesome. So, yeah. Hey, uh, Time and Place is out. It's Time In, by the way, not And. That's important, so pay attention. And uh, look for them out on tour in 2015, which is this year, later this year. Thank you guys very much. Thanks for Thank you so much for yeah. Thank you. I'm really we glad we could it. finally work it out. Um, thanks to Dictator Cabs, thanks to Goose Island, thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew, hooking it up, and viewers, thanks for watching. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks, and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.